Tony Ferguson obviously seems like a massive fight with Connor right now. Uh, yeah. Both guys are great fighters on win streaks, and and, uh, and Tony's a great talker as well. How do you think that plays out, and what is in your mind in terms of Connor, whether he goes to Diaz or whether he goes and unifies with uh, Tony? No, nobody's talked about Diaz. Diaz has never been talked about. That's that's internet bullshit. Tony's the interim champion. Connor's the champion. That's the fight that makes sense. It's the fight that has to happen. It doesn't make sense. It's the fight that has to happen. You know, Tony's a busy guy, man. He keeps coming forward. He keeps throwing all kinds of different things at you. And Connor's awesome. There's no way that's not a great fight. Have you talked to Connor about what he's going to do next and when he's going to fight next? I mean, is the December thing likely or is it not likely at this point? Not yet. Well, we haven't talked to we We didn't specifically talk about it. But yeah, we talked about it, kind of. Um, he wants to fight again this year. He does want to fight again this year. So so if Connor's next, no matter what, if he doesn't want to defend it, then whatever. I don't care. I'm here right now. Just won this belt. I'm fresh. I don't have any injuries. I'm ready to go back to the drawing board on Monday. Feel like the matchup favors you, or do you think it's kind of even? I'll ankle pick him. No problem. I'll set him on his ass, and everybody's the same size on the ground. Connor McGregor poses no threat to me, especially when I hit him with a jab. He's going to be running away like Katsunori Kakuno did, and I'll chase after his ass like a cornerback, and I'll slam him to the ground, and I'll finish him with a dodge choke or any kind of choke of my please. But uh, the fight is with Connor. It is with, with Connor. You can't run anymore, man. You're in check, and I'm great at chess. Dana said that Connor could fight again by the end of the year. Is uh, you, you are saying you, you could definitely be ready by December. Let's go next week. Where you at? Let's go get Kick your ass. scared he's never mentioned my name not one time not one time during this whole entire talk i've been here i'm 10 consecutive victories i'm a lightweight interim lightweight champ but uh the fight is with connor it is with with connor you can't run anymore man you're in check i'm great at chess connor mcgregor poses no threat to me especially when i hit him with a jab He's going to be running away like Katsunori Kakuno did, and I'll chase after his ass like a cornerback, and I'll slam him to the ground, and I'll finish him with a dodge choke or any kind of choke of my boots. No matter what, if he doesn't want to defend it, then whatever. I don't care. I'm here right now. I just won this belt. I'm fresh. I don't have any injuries. I'm ready to go back to the drawing board on Monday. The fact that Connor has not mentioned your name, like you said, does it give you any alarm that he's going to try to go somewhere else? Or do you feel like you said that you do have him pinned in? I don't care. Like, this is chess, man. This is check. It's going to be checkmate soon. He's got nowhere else to run. Literally, he's running out of time. He needs to defend or vacate. If he doesn't vacate, he needs to defend it. But I'm going to tell you what. Just set it down, Connor, and just walk away. Nobody will get hurt. Everything is possible, you know? Like, uh, But I, I, I don't... Everybody is targeting Connor McGregor because the, the money is the money fight, you know? But uh, I don't, I don't challenge guys that compete in lower, lower weight, lower weight class division. To, uh, for me, it's it's I don't do that, you know. Uh, I'm going up to fight Michael Bisping now, so that's I'm looking up. So I, I he's an amazing fighter. It's, it would be an amazing honor, and, and but is. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. You know, if the fan want it, and if you want it, whoever want it, the, the, maybe it will happen. You know, but uh, right now I'm I'm focused on this. Thing. It, it, it's most funny with him. You know, with himself calling him the champ, champ. You know, I, let me put it into perspective for these guys. Only one of his last four fights was a championship fight. You know, think about that for a second. <laughs> Only one. And this guy going around calling him, uh, calling him the champ, champ. And, and, and the thing is, you know, I, you know, fair play to him. You know, fair play to him. He figured it out before everyone else, and he did. You know, great job. You know, Connor, he's a genius. You know, I, I give him, I give him his fair shake. 
And and to most fans, you can't tell the difference between uh, Tyron Tyron Woodley and Demetrius Johnson. And uh, and it's not and it's not because they're great beards they have on on their chins, you know. Both of them only walk around one belt, and they defended their belts a bunch of times, you know. Like DJ got ten defenses, bro, ten of them, ten of them. Why why try and be like DJ to these up and coming fighters, you know, or, or these, most of these fans that's not really into it? Why try and be like DJ and defend, defend, defend? And it doesn't mean anything to most fans. Champ life is hard, you know. Fight, fighting, uh, finding the motivation to do champ life to to. To keep on earning what you already have and keeping what you already have, it's, it's hard, you know. It's just instead, you know, this guy's going around with his champ aura, you know, holding on to that uh, that he's the champ, champ because he won the belt in 2015 and only fighting exhibition match nowadays for money. That that's that's what he does, you know. It's fair play to him. He he found a way, but uh, it is what it is, you know. At the end of the day. What needs to happen is those two need to fight. We have to have, uh, you know, um, we got to send an Irma Great off. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So those guys got to fight. Um, you know, would have it would have seemed a lot worse if those two fought and they were all sitting around waiting. It didn't happen. That fight still needs to happen. So this thing could time out perfectly. You, you know, you, you know, you know what Connor told me. He says, "I want Khabib in Russia." <laughs> is he fucking awesome he's like i want khabib in russia yeah that's amazing he's that's awesome. amazing connor mcgregor is a fucking unicorn there's nothing like him connor th this floyd thing popped up the thing that that, that the uh the interim belts are good for is you, you don't clog up the division you don't have guys sitting around waiting tony deserved it tony and khabib deserve to fight for that belt Right. Khabib didn't make weight. So when crazy shit like this happens that you, you know, you don't plan for, you have to still give the kid the opportunity. Tony, Tony accepted the fight. And now we have an interim champion. There's no question now who gets the shot at Connor. Pretty definitive. <laughs> Did you bring your balls, Connor? 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 Did you bring your balls,